Hey there, friends. Nibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. And I wanted to do another head-to-head -head challenge for you guys. Um, this one is another kind of a David and Goliath uh, matchup, I think, maybe. But uh, I think the, uh, the little guy is uh, up to the task. As long as I can shoot it well. But uh, what we are going to be putting head-to-head -head here is my <clears throat> Beeman... AR2078, which is one of the newcomers to the garage, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying this gun. This is a lot of fun to shoot, um, CO2 powered, uh, but very nice. Uh, not the best trigger in the world, but it does have a really nice trigger, a really nice setup all together, and uh, I am going to be putting it head to head up against one of the heavy hitters out here in the garage. This is my <clears throat> Gamo model 126 super match and uh, this one is quite a shooter so uh, this one is the not the newcomer to the garage so we're gonna shoot the beam in first and uh, what I'm gonna be using in it today is uh, kind of doing a little bit of testing with it I've been doing a little bit of testing with these pellets and both of these really seem to shoot pretty good. Um, <clears throat> but uh, these are the Stoger X-Match. These ones were sent over to me by uh, Bill from the channel. I really appreciate that, Bill. But uh, we'll do a five-shot group with each one. And uh, whoever gets the best score will be the victor. So let's go ahead. And uh, I'm using the, the small... Uh, I think they're an inch and a half bullseyes. Um, get a much, much granular, much more granular score uh, than the uh, the bigger shooting C's that are just eight, nine, and ten. This one actually starts at three on the outer ring and works its way gradually up to uh, ten in the center of the dot. So. Did spend a little bit of time checking the zero and making sure that the, both of these rifles actually shot these halfway decent. Make sure I had a, a suitable uh, insert in the front for this type of uh, bullseye as well. I'm pretty good that first one was up a little bit high there but Ended on my pull time there and it shows in my shot. All right, that's not bad looking shooting there. Let's go ahead and grab the game all. I need to order some more uh, Lee Shaver inserts. I'm, I run out of the little circular ones that uh, I like to use for these kind of these kind of uh, round targets. Okay. This one's a lot of fun to shoot. I do like the CO2. It's a little bit more user friendly when you're shooting like this, but I'm pull off to the left for some reason. It was zeroed really nice when I uh, <laughs> it 
was testing it before I started the video up. Another one off to the left. It's all about how I shoot, I, you know, so. It's a little better towards the center. Demon might be able to pull out a win. It's definitely no slouch. All right, well, it's a nice looking group anyway from the Beeman, but uh, they're all off to the left. I'm hoping uh, the score will be good enough, so let me pause this. I'll add those up and be right back with you. All righty, friends, I'm back, and you're not going to believe it, but uh, we ended up with a tie as far as score goes. Um, they both uh, shot really well, and both of them ended up with a 39. So uh, we don't really have a center X in this type of target, so I really couldn't use that as a scoring uh, tiebreaker means. And uh, But um, one other way that I like to do uh, tiebreakers is going by group size. And uh, the, the Beeman had a group size of 7.25, 0.725, sorry. But the uh, Gamo, really nice group of... 0 0.410 so by the slimmest of margins the game will pull out a win here uh, and I'm not taking anything away from the beaming but that game -O is such a fine rifle and uh, there you go the uh, the game will redeemed himself <laughs> well I guess I shouldn't say that we had he did take a win the other day not really a fair win I'm gonna redo that uh, head to head with the Walther and have it be uh, a more fair uh, scoring because <laughs> the way that that dot challenge went, any any gun that uh, shot first was, and as long as he didn't miss, was going to be the winner. So I'm um, thinking up other ways I can do that uh, dot challenge where there's an uh, uh, even chance for everybody to win. So, But game all one today and uh, life's good. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.